Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of ESD Blog. My name is Edgar Skarsikas and today we are going to talk about programming connectors. Let's have a closer look. Here we have four programmers. Microchip Pikachu with its 6 pin 0.1 inch connector. Texas Instruments MSP Fed with its 40 pin dual row 0.1 inch connector. Microchip ICD3 with its RJ11 6 pin connector. And finally, Silicon Labs USB debug adapter with its 10 pin 0.1 inch dual row connector. Have you noticed anything common between them? Probably you do. It's bulky programming connector. I don't have any MSP430 or Silicon Labs board to show how connector fits in, but I have a couple of microchip boards. Here is one of my old designs. It uses Pikachu as a programmer. Take a look how much area it takes on the board. Not only you are limited in height right here, but also in here and also from, from the sides. That's really much area on such a small board. Here is another microchip board which uses RJ11 connector. It fits in quite nice. Takes less area than Pikachu connector but it uses separate connector on the board which is quite expensive well not that much but one box in one board this is just a prototype like a development board but let's say we have production board where on every board you have to place a connector and we are selling 100 boards that connector sets you back $100 well that is not that much but if you have a thousand boards, it will set you back one thousand dollars. Why should you throw away one thousand dollars when you can save it? Do you have any other option? Well, you do. Here is DAG connector, which fits into ICD3. It takes almost no area on the PCB and saves you connector. Take a look. Fits in nicely, you can debug as with usual connector. And that is all. Nice and tidy way to program your boards. This is legged version. It uses four legs to hook onto your board. Well, it, it needs holes as well. If you are very tight on space, you can use version without legs. Just imagine a connector with cut legs. You are left with very tiny footprint. I heard about this connector just accidentally when I was invited to a project where I had to modify very tight design. The PCB was just 2 cm by 3 It had a Bluetooth module, DC-DC converter and a bit of power stuff. That particular project didn't use microchip products but it used Silicon Labs with similar connector to this. After redesigning the board I started to wonder maybe similar connector exists for microchip products and it turned out it does. It is manufactured by a separate company TAR Connector which also makes connectors for AVR, IRM, Silicon Labs, Texas Instruments and many other known manufacturers. One thing that shocked me about these cables is their price. This cable set me back 45 euros. That's insane for just a tiny cable. But when you calculate how much 
connectors cost you and how much area they take. Price is not very high. You have to pay 45 euro once for this and you have just tiny footprints on the PCB. Where in this case you have to pay for every connector on the board and they take quite a lot of area. And that is all what I wanted to show today. Tell me if you have used anything similar or maybe there is even better solutions. Maybe there are cheaper options. I really didn't want to spend that much but hey, it's a great connector. Leave your opinion in the comments below and see you next time.